Huh, look at that. 1968 Chevelle. 464,699 cars made. And out of those, 55,309 were SS396s. Huh, interesting. 29% of them were made in Baltimore. Huh. Oh, hold your hand. Uncle Larry. Hello? Hi, Uncle Larry. How you doing today? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Lil, Lil Ray is looking at a 68 Chevelle? Well, I think Chevelle Hunter should go look at this 68 Chevelle. Oh, oh, oh. Lil Ray's not going to buy it? Well, his loss. What do you say we go take a look? Give Mike a call. We'll get in the truck. We'll Where are we going? Chagrin? Okay. Okay. What? It's a black one? SS396? White interior. Bench seat? 325 horse? Huh. Man, we never see 68 Chevelles at our show. wonder what the deal with that is. Well, let's go take a look. See ya. Hmm. I guess we're going to look at a SS396. 1968 Chevelle. Here we go. So here it is, a 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle. One owner car. We're out here in Chagrin Falls purchasing this vehicle. It's beautiful. It's a SS 396, 325 horse. Um, you can see it's black with a white stripe. It's got Oldsmobile wheels on it right now, but the original wheels are over here in the garage. We're taking those with us. So we'll give you a little once around here. See there, SS 396, dual exhaust, 68 plates still on it. Like I said, one owner car, the gentleman that owned this passed away. His uh, son is selling us the car. And uh, from what I understand, the car was drag raced once by the original owner when he was 80 years old. Ran a 1496 at Thompson. Pretty cool. The grandson here is a race car driver and races, uh, I'm not sure what type of race car, but I know it runs probably in the nines. So these guys are cool car guys. Let's walk on the inside of this. Very cool car, white interior. I'm not a much of an expert when it comes to the 68 Chevelle, so it's kind of a cross between a 67 and a 69, but uh, you can see the original door panels kind of colored there. Um, it's got 71,000 miles on the odometer. One of the cheaper Chevelles with all the idiot lights. Uh, the gentleman that owned this uh, was a radio repair guy, and uh, he put his own Motorola radio in it. You can see that's that's pretty period correct. Uh, we do have the block off plate coming with the car, so pretty basic, you know, standard, nice seat belts and SS three ninety six. Look at that. There it is. Here's the trunk area. This is an original floor mat. You can see a texture there and an original paint in here. Look at that. Don't you like to see that speckle all original there? Very cool. Very cool. Everybody always wonders how did they paint that trunk latch? Well, there it is. There's how they painted the trunk latch. Now we'll look at the uh, stickers up here. You see they get put all over the place. Original stickers. Look at that. Okay, let's go and look at the cow. So there is the original VIN on the car. I'm gonna back up here and as we go over here and check this motor out, got a funky sticker on there. Maybe that's from a Corvette, but I don't know if you can see this real well, but this is a numbers matching car. I can see it, but maybe you can't. Um, the numbers match up really nice. So, um, you can see a fan uh, belt probably let loose one time, took that out. It's got hoses are been replaced and whatnot, but uh, 
Here's very period correct. Okay, I'm gonna go take a snapshot of the cowl tag over here. So as you can see, this is a Baltimore car, built in 68, 138 car, B for bench seats, and then double A for black paint. So very cool. Well, I don't have every other, other codes at the top of my mind, but we'll go look those up later. But uh, very cool original car here. I hope uh, I'm doing my best Patrick Glenn Nichols here. He would just love to see this barn find. So I'm, I'm going around in the uh, glove compartment here. You got uh, original owner's manual. You got uh, quite a few registrations. Got a Motorola uh, radio guide. Looks like from 523.68. And uh, looky what we found here original protecto plate for the car very very cool charles chevrolet Olds incorporated and uh i can't pronounce that i'm gonna have to look that up ohio 329.68 garrettsville larry says and um looks like sam uh purchased the car all the registrations are in sam's uh name tuxedo black look at that little serial numbers on there and whatnot very very cool looks like some different notes on there i will try to figure that out what they are but uh very cool in the original bag wow it's not every day you find all this stuff to go along with these old cars but uh that is just special look at this it was in the uh, glove compartment too the uh, block off plate for the radio I'm telling you, that's like that's like finding a hen's tooth. That is rare. Wow. Look at this. Look at this dipstick here with the little yellow tab there. Larry's got the uh, S on the valve cover. And look at that. Even back in 1968, General Motors was buying parts from Mexico. What do you think of that? Looks like they sprayed the motor over a couple times with orange paint and black paint and whatnot but uh pretty cool i don't know what the plans for this is probably just drive it what do you think larry yeah drive it be a good driver put some battery cables on it that are a little nicer and take it to the shows just the way it is the person i had it uh had it on the track it ran third uh 1483 or four something like that he was 88 years old when he did it. So yeah. Runs pretty good. Very cool. Look at that. Is this the original too? Original cap here? Yep. Yep. Look at that. Here you go. There you go. There's it running. Larry says it sounds like a little bit of an exhaust leak. But very cool. Give it a little rev, Larry. Volunteer firemen. Sounds good back here. All right, the Chevelle hunters have bagged another Chevelle. Uh, we're just finishing up some details there with the owner and the uh, uh, his son. So this would be the original owner's grandson and son. And uh, we're making sure they got everything out of the car. And then we're going to head back to the Chevelle Lair. See ya! This is how we do deals, Chevelle hunters. We do the deal and we get a 1970 Canadian Club. Man, that was my dad's drink. Canadian Club, I'm telling you. He'd been proud of you, Mike, for getting that. Woo! It's on the seal, too. On the seal. We're going to taste that. <laughs> and then we got some original hubcaps. Look at that. Very good. So we're headed home. This whiskey is six years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 56 years old now. Yeah. Well, there you go. We bagged us another beautiful 68 Chevelle. Taking her home. Who knows what we'll do with this car. Put some tires on it. Drive it. Have a good time. It's a real survivor of a car. A real good find here. So, Mark Meldrum, Mike Ely, 
Larry Robinson from Chevelle Hunters. See ya!